Who are you? Classified. Noble team. Once. Yes. Welcome back, Halo followers. Today, I want to talk about a massive project coming up. Noble Six, the Ghost of Reach, the untold story about how Noble Six survives Reach, but not only that, ties into a grander MCU-inspired-like universe that me and some friends are writing called the Noble Timeline. This is a whole series that we are planning on making and are making some great strides in actually finishing it. So, Noble Six, the Ghost of Reach, what is this project about and how is it possible? That's what we're going to discuss today in today's featurette, and I have some really great things to show off. Before we humor your request, I need to hear the account from you directly. Tell me, what transpired on Reach? It's funny, a lot of people assume that the reason why these animations take so long is because of the animation. But most of the time is because we want to write and get the story and characters right. I mean, how do we honor Noble Six and his sacrifice? How do we honor Noble Team? And how we have excessive time to work on the script, not just write it in two, three weeks, but to spend months and months polishing it is because we have extra time. Because XN's motion capture allows us to record ourselves with very little cleanup, finishing scenes in a matter of days. She's with a team of Oni Spartan agents on Sanghelios. Then that's where we're going. So, just got to the, uh, the studio. Um, and uh, we're gonna do some mocap. So still working on this place, but yeah, um, gotta get that fixed. <laughs> I think what I love most about XNs is how I can take this suit literally anywhere. Like this line of work can sometimes get lonely. And if I wanna go mocap on a sunny day outside in a park, maybe even using the staircase or well, like in Ghost of Reach, I went up to the mountains in Colorado. I mean, I often put this suit on in my workroom, which is quite small, but still gets the job done because there's no cameras required. I can actually work within just a few feet of space, which is really nice and convenient. When I was younger, I used to do Halo Machinima, and as much as I respect that craft, I really wanted to push the envelope and make something that was fully animated because that's the good stuff, right? When there's animations in red versus blue, for example, I used to always get so excited seeing that. So what I do here, my pipeline is, is I come up with an idea or script. This is usually the lengthiest part of the process, believe it or not. I've spent many, many months with my friends working on Noble Six Ghost of Reach, which has taken up most of the production time. Then I put the audio together, like the lines from voice actors or the music, whatever's applicable. And then I act out the scene in my motion capture suit. I usually do a few takes. I grab that live data, which is usually pretty solid already, not perfect, but it's magnetic proof, which is really big. And then I run that data through a reprocessor with an XNs. And that turns this data into extremely clean movement. I mean, it's kind of unreal, right? So I grab that really nice data, I go into Blender, retarget that data onto my Noble 6 rig or whichever character, and then I simply import that into Source Filmmaker. And we have completely animated characters moving around. And then from there, just camera, lights, all the works, setting up the shots. And we have scenes, usually dialogue scenes, that can be knocked out within just a few days, which is really fun and really easy. And it comes out looking pretty solid. Noble Six, The Ghost of Reach is a rather grand, ambitious project, and we're on our way to wrapping it up. However, it's going to take a little bit more time. If you'd like to support this project, be sure to check out my Patreon or become a member here on Halo Follower. And of course, if you like today's behind the scenes episode, there will be more parts. But for today, we talked about motion capture. So if you'd like to learn more about Movella's XN's motion capture, check out the link in the description. And thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you in the next one soon. Peace.